You know, with the advancements of computers over the years, some things have been changing recently. Everything's been kind of moving towards touch screens, tablets, uh, even the way we interact with computers with gestures or swipes. Even eye movement now is used to interact with certain devices. So that's no exception here in my shop as I've been getting some of these touchscreen devices in. Hello everyone, I'm Tim from timscomputerfix.net and I own a computer repair shop here in the Savannah, Georgia area. If you are in this location or around this area and you need help repairing your computer or if you have computer issues, I'm your guy. Look me up. And even if you're not in the Savannah area, you can ship me your computer and I will repair it. You can go to timscomputerfix.net for more details. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to gain access to the hard drive in a HP TouchSmart IQ505 all-in-one computer. This computer has TouchSmart capabilities, and in this particular instance, the hard drive has failed. I will show you briefly at the beginning of this video how to troubleshoot and verify that your hard drive has indeed failed. So with that being said, let's have a look at how this repair is done. Okay, we have here an HP TouchSmart IQ505 all-in-one computer. This is having hard drive issues. So we're going to show you steps here to, to determine if the hard drive is bad. Plus we're going to show you how to replace this hard drive. So really on this one it's pretty straightforward to determine the hard drive is bad. We have it plugged in here. And we're going to go ahead and just power it on. Hit the power button here on the side. And what we were presented with really is this um, splash screen which is kind of stuck there doesn't go anywhere so we're going to enter the BIOS we're going to have a look here in the BIOS and see uh, if we can see anything and here's our first drive and it says none our second drive is showing our CD DVD drive so there's a telltale sign right there that there's something wrong with this hard drive so let's just lay this touch smart down flat on a protected surface and there's a side panel that pops off here that you have access to some more features and some screws. Right here underneath the stand itself is one screw that needs to be removed. So we have to push up on our stand and get a screwdriver in there like so and remove this screw. Once this screw is removed we'll be able to kind of slide back the back panel and that will expose our memory and some more screws that we would need to remove to take off this back panel. And right here in this one area is is the actual Wi-Fi card, a Wi-Fi USB adapter that this unit uses for wireless. So we'll go ahead and remove that and put it in a safe place. And now the side panel where our DVD drive is has a small plate that fits over it we're going to kind of pry it off gently until we can just kind of till it just sort of pops off and falls off and then once once that is done we will then be able to remove screws we have one here then we have another one here okay and then there's one here these are the ones to remove one inside here one inside here, another one here, and then on the side where, where our panel's off, one here, one up top, right there, and another one up top in the same area right here. Once those screws are removed, we can then take the back panel and unsnap it. It just sort of snaps into place. So we'll gently pry it off until it comes unsnapped. Okay, once it's able to be removed, fully disengaged, 
we have to kind of be gentle here with this with the stand itself we'll have to kind of lift the stand straight up and then slide the back panel off of the stand itself like so and that's going to expose our hard drive before we get to our hard drive we have to remo remove our CD DVD drive it is one screw right here that we will loosen and that will actually allow for us to slide this back and kind of put the DVD drive off to the side still plugged in now to our hard drive there are there are hard drive cables but there's one screw here we're going to have to remove to actually remove the hard drive itself so we'll take that screw out and then we'll have to remove the data cable and power cable from the hard drive and then we'll actually be able to slide forward the hard drive and remove it and then from that point we'll just remove the caddy there are four screws that hold our caddy into place shown here so we'll just remove these four screws and then we'll be able to remove our caddy once the caddy's been removed we can set the old hard drive aside bring in our new hard drive now it's everything in reverse We'll put our caddy back on the new hard drive, put our four screws into place, tighten it all back up, and then we'll just gently slide our hard drive back into where we originally pulled it out from. We will replace our data cable and our power cable tighten down the screw that we originally loosened to remove the hard drive we will pull back the CD DVD drive where it was and it sort of slides into place there line it up and it slides in like so and then we can tighten up that screw very good So at this point, before we go any further, I would highly recommend testing this unit to be sure that the, the hard drive is being seen in the BIOS. So we'll stand it up and we'll plug it in and we'll power it up. And we're now going to look for the hard drive listed in the BIOS. It was not there originally. We see here now first drive is our WDC, which is our Western Digital Hard Drive. And there's our CD, DVD, W drive there shown as the second device. From this point, we'll just snap our back panel back on. Nice and easy. Put our screws back into place. Same screws we took out. We just do everything in reverse. Now with these screws, I will say, just be sure that everything is lined up. Pretty much as that back cover gets snapped into place, everything should just go back together normally with no issues. We slide this little panel back on and that snaps into place. And from that point, we have it. All right, well, I hope this helps somebody out trying to replace their hard drive on this touch smart HP computer I do appreciate you watching my videos please rate and subscribe to my feed and until next time everyone see you soon